Hi, friends. <laughs> What's up hackers, it's Goldie Blocks, and today's video is all about rainy day games slash hacks. Everybody loves a good game when it's rainy outside. Hot cocoa, blankets, some NyQuil. Last time I did rainy day hacks, I was sick, so it's full circle. <laughs> For our first game, we have the crazy catapult. It's crazy. It's not. Basically, all you have to do is get the little pom poms in the little frog's mouth. Oh, I did it. For this DIY, you're gonna need cardboard, a wood base, bottle cap, pom poms, paint, astroturf, glitter paper, and stickers. First, cut a piece of cardboard the same size as your wooden base plus two triangles. Now paint them. Attach the astroturf to the top of the wooden base and the cardboard to the back. Draw a frog in the cardboard and cut it out. Hot glue the frog on the cardboard. Now just build the catapult and attach it to the wooden base. Finally, launch the pom-poms at the frog's mouth and try to make it in. We're gonna put all of the food in and do a rapid fire. It might be too heavy, but you know what? I'm gonna try it. Gotta stretch it back. Shoot! That was just sad. Couldn't take all the weight of the pom-poms. You know what? I didn't even make any of that. My odds were in my favor and it totally failed. That was such a foolproof plan. How did that not work? I won. Our next hack is a robotic arm. It's not made of metal and you're not a cyborg when you put it on, but it's close. This is like easy materials to get that you probably have in your house. It's cardboard, a straw and string, a Amazon box can become an arm. Wow. So basically, you just put the little loops on your fingers. Hey, that's so cool. When I move my fingers, the fingers move with me. And then you can be like, oh, look over there. Because it's a pointer finger. I feel like I'm on like Pacific Rim or something. I love this. For this DIY, you're going to need cardboard, paper straws, string, and paint. First, cut two long pieces of cardboard. Cut out a notch on the big rectangles to make the wrist. All right, now it's time to make some fingernails. Bend the four small rectangles both ways to make them flexible. Hot glue these over the top edge of one of the long pieces. Attach strips of cardboard to the long rectangle to serve as holsters for your arm and fingers. Now glue pieces of straw to the fingers. Tie a slip knot around each of your fingers. Fish it through the straw and tie a knot at the end.
tingling into your arm and fingers. You are now a robot. <laughs> Hack along. See if I can pick things up. Whoa! <laughs> oh, well, let's try something not as heavy. Okay, this is just. Oh, almost got it. Come on, you got this, you got this. Oh, that was my actual fingers. Man, I got really excited. For our next game, we have chess. Just kidding, it's checkers and it's rainbow. So I have all my little game pieces. So you can't do that with normal checkers, can you? But you know what? I don't have the patience for that. Let's try it out. I want to be the purple team, but I don't have any friends with me at the moment, so I'm going to be both teams. That's the saddest sentence I've maybe ever said. We're going to start very simple. <laughs> gotcha. Hey. Gotcha. Are you winning? No. For this DIY, you'll need magnets, cookie sheet, trim, paint, and toys to turn in the checkered pieces. First, create an 8x8 grid of 1 inch squares. Tape off the edges of the grid and paint on every other square. Hot glue magnets to the bottom of your game pieces and decorate the board. Check it out! <laughs> I'm lame. You can play it upside down. If you have like a loft bed, you can like put it to the top of the bed. You can't do that with real checkers. Stranger Things, you can play it in the upside down. But did you notice that the upside down has like little particles in the air? I feel like that would be really bad for allergies. That's it guys. Yeah, I still have this on. Comment down below what your favorite was. I think mine was definitely the robot hand. It's like, if you like this video, like it and subscribe for more DIYs every Friday. Early squad, turn on that notification bell. And the weekly Goldie Squad shout out goes to Shay Scott. Thank you so much for watching. You are so sweet. I hope you enjoyed and Goldie Blocks is signing off.